In this short project what I want to do is combine Art Wade's brilliant suggestion about using the select menu edge loop every entering second command with another chain loop using a torus. I'm going to use 32 sections and I'm also going to put a twist in it. So in Wings 3D you want to right click, you want a torus, you want this little button at the end so you can enter the uh, section so that's 32 and the slicers 4. Right click select the edge tool, select one of these edges around the outside and then select edge loop every nth ring second then press L for loop, right click and loop cut it into separate sec sections press space to deselect, hide one of the sections using the geometry graph select an end face, unhide that section, use I for identical right click, you want rotate, normal, hold the shift key down, put a 45 degree rotation in select the entire object, right click and weld it back together. Entire object face and what we're going to do is tessellate it and use this to use it as a, a sort of a face selection tool. So tessellate it, triangulate and look where the new lines appeared. Some of those we need to get rid of straight away so pick a couple of adjacent ones like those and press loop and delete them. And then if you, the other ones, so that one's there press loop and there's another one there, press loop. When you go to the face tool you'll see that every other face is now selected. We'll delete the lines by hitting the delete key and then I'm going to right click and then right click on material and assign a new material to this. So I'm just going to make it grey so you can see it's been done. Press space to deselect, edge tool, one of these edges, press G to take that round the object, then L to loop it round the object, and then right click and loop cut, so I've cut it into lots of separate sections. Press space again to deselect and then with new material selected right click and select that material and at this point right click and intrude but only a little bit, do too much and it will interfere with the beveling section. Select the entire object, right click and then weld it back together. Entire object and smooth. Press space, right. We want these lines that run round the outside of each tunnel. So select one of those, press identical and you'll notice the pattern repeats itself. So this one, that one and that one got left out press identical again and then loop a couple of times to make sure it completes its loops in fact three times just for good measure and right click and bevel and at this point it should bevel out to whatever you want so I do it about halfway and then press space to deselect again we're going to use the edge tool and we're going to try and get the these two new rings that have been formed on the outside so identical you can see that it's picked up some but not all so if you can find the ones that are missing this one and that one, press identical again and then press loop and loop again and loop again and then right click and circularize. You want these to be just about touching because when they're smoothed down afterwards they'll sort of come apart so once you've set that go to face press minus right click and shell extrude normal and that gives you your rings make them more or less square cross section hide your original object now this is where you have 32 instead of 36 because 36 would have resulted in an odd number and would have made the next step somewhat tricky. Press space to deselect, select the entire object and then select around the outside every, whoops, every other ring and hopefully when you get back to the start this will meet up nicely. So face tool right click, left click on material and select new material for those then entire object right click and combine them into one object then you can use select and inverse face tool right click material default material then entire object right click and combine again and you can select both objects easily and press smooth and smooth again and you can see now I've got a nice selection of interlinked toruses that continue around the outside in a sort of twist and if you want then you can also assign different materials to those in the render engine of your choice. So there you go, that's the end of the video, hope you found that interesting and uh, you'll have a go at using this in your own modelling.